All right, guys, I'm out here on a river that flows into the Gulf of Mexico. About this way is a jetty and a pass out to the ocean. It's only about a half mile or so, maybe a quarter mile. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get out some big old baits out here for some sharks. All right, guys, here's my rig. It's a cast out rig. I got about six feet of heavy mono, about a foot of wire, 12 watt circle hook, and I've got a big mullet. I'm gonna cast this out the best I can. Yeah, it wasn't perfect, but it's out there. I'm gonna turn my drag real low. Pull into that spider weight. Should be good there. I'm gonna use this handy dandy rod holder here. All right, here's my second bait, chunk of catfish. Hook him like that, took off his spikes and his head. Cast this the best I can. Not too bad. Once again, going to use these nice rod holders. Oh, guys, I'm hooked up. It's big. I gotta get this other one out of the way. Okay. Oh! I don't know what this is, guys. It's big, though. Okay, that was the mullet. That's a big fish. Maybe a bull red. Yeesh! Nice red. <clears throat> Giant bull red, guys. Wow, she's huge. No way. How do I get down to her? Um, All right, guys, got a huge bull red out of the river. Absolute giant. I'm going to get her back. I'm going to get her in her gill plate, but be really careful why I do it. I'm just going to pull her down. And there we go. Sweet.
Okay, so that red just ate mullet, so I'm gonna put another chunk of mullet out. stand up here to actually be able to throw them. All right, we're all set up on this one again. That second one, we're gonna get a nice chunk of mullet right there. Do the same thing, get up here so I can throw it. Now we wait. All right guys, I don't know if you can see right there, but that's a red drum head. The reason is because this is a fish cleaning station. So people are coming over here and putting all their stuff from their fish right here in the water. That's why I wanted to fish it for sharks because I thought it was possible that big sharks were coming up to me here eating those carcasses on a regular basis. So put out some big baits, ended up getting a giant red drum. That was super cool. Wasn't really expecting that, so that was awesome. Even pulled some decent line on my heaviest rod that I have. So. It's pretty big, pretty good sized fish. Whatever this is. Ooh, may have got my second bull red on my lightest rod. Whoosh. Ooh. <laughs> guys look at that she just I get back a little bit and then she takes it Woo! Huge head shakes on this. Oof. Oof. Big fish. Big, big fish. I actually got this fish on a three aught circle hook, if you can believe that. A little tiny thing. I keep seeing swells from her. She's big, whatever she is. I don't know what she is. She's doing things. I don't know. The swells she's putting off look bigger than what she should be, but pretty sure this is a bull red. There it is, big old bull. Sweet. Wow, what a fish. What a fish. Big fish. It's a good fish, guys. Can't really beat her. How's it going? Yeah, it might help. I got her foul hooked. I had two hooks on, so one of them's like in her dorsal. It's got her all funky. It's my second one. Yeah, they told me. So he had one while ago and he jumped over the rail on the barge and all that kind of stuff. 
Yeah, I wasn't sure what to do, you know what I mean? I never actually fished off this pier before. My friend told me he caught a bull shark off it, so that was good enough for me. I figured I'd try it. Really? Wow. Yeah, something happened and then the red started coming through. Y'all been catching them or no? Oh yeah. Yeah. Right here. There was a guy fishing here last night. I think she's ready if you can reach down there. I got here last night for the 44 inches. Wow, I think this one's bigger. I'm pretty sure she's like 47 or something. I could be wrong. Yeah, that's a giant red. Oh, that's huge. Awesome. Need yeah, help? Oh, yeah. I got the uh. Yeah, sure. Sorry. I'll put the rod down. That's sweet. Wow, what a fish. A that's a nice one. Tiny little circle hook, too. <laughs> I was just trying to catch bait. Honestly, over here trying to catch uh, bull sharks. I figured I'd uh, try to use the cleaning station to my advantage. I figured there'd be a bull shark come through and pick everything up for too long, you know what I mean? Oh gosh, awesome. Do you mind um, holding this GoPro for me? You just kind of grab it. It's a little crazy. I've been out here probably three hours since I got those two reds. I got them right back to back and uh, not a lot going on, but I'm putting out fresh baits. The only issue is I'm out of bait now. This is the last bit. I've got a crab on one, a hard head, and a giant shad on the one behind me. I've been trying to catch some more crabs in the shallow water, but I haven't been doing too good. If I could at least get some big crabs, then I could put them out for, uh, you know, big old reds or black drum or whatever. Yeah, it's just kind of one of those things. I got a long drive home whenever I do decide to get out of here, but I'm having a good time. It's absolutely beautiful. Mosquitoes haven't showed up. Huge fish could show up at any time. I do really feel like with this fish cleaning station, there has to be a big old like residential bull shark that comes through here at some point in the nighttime. I wouldn't be surprised if that shark did come along and not too long because it's uh, going into high tide right now and that makes the most sense to me because it's really shallow behind me and there's a bunch of dead stuff that people have cleaned throughout the day right here underneath the dock so here's your oh i think you're in it i'm gonna try to clear your other one if you want me to you want me to move this one the uh the closer one you're wrapped up in I may actually be not helping. I think I'm on this side of it. Okay, so one down. I'll help you out with this one. Yeah, no problem. All right, I'll just sit here on free spool. I'll let you fight her. Yeah, I hope she don't go into mine. I might have to pull mine too. I'm gonna turn your drag down a little bit on this one. Oh yeah, she's in it. I try to go off like, that's not good. Are you in? 
in me or can you feel me? Can you feel my rod? Am I am I in your line? Oh yeah, we're all together. Okay, actually I think I'm out of yours. And then, uh, you may grab your net for you. You want your net? You jumped that gap or what? Nice fish, man. Yeah, sorry about that. I was trying to hope I helped out. Wow, she's really pretty. Good old 30 pound mono. Might be a little hard since she's faced the wrong way, but I'm trying to get it. Would you go for her head? Okay. There we go. I'm going to leave her there until you're ready. Okay. Sweet man, good job. Thank you. Here's that big old red. Nice one. Really pretty. Alright guys, so it looks like it's the end of the day for me. I'm walking to my car. I'm not allowed to park with my boat in this parking lot, so I have to walk, but it's a pretty awesome day. I wasn't really expecting all that much. And since it was, you know, blowing 25 miles per hour all day, but um Ended up fishing on a pier and caught some nice reds. Helped a guy catch a nice red. And uh, yeah, I'm headed home. Go see my family, my wife, my kids. Anyway, I appreciate you guys and uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.